Hi guys, so it's here and today I'm doing a video review on the PNY XLR8 CS3030 NVMe drive. Now this drive starts from around £40 or $40 in the US. It's actually insane how cheap NVMe drives have gotten nowadays. And that's for the 250 gigabyte variant. It moves up to 500 gigabytes, one terabyte, and the model I have actually got is two terabytes. That is around £280 in the UK and around $250 in the US. Now if you live in these territories or indeed elsewhere, the locally linked in the description below will take you to your localized Amazon store. Now before jumping in this review, if you do have Instagram, would very much appreciate a follow. It's at totally dubbed. It'll be on your screen right now, or indeed, yes, in the fable description box. So now let's get on to the review. Now there's truthfully not that much to talk about in terms of build quality or design, other than the fact that it comes with a built-in heat spreader. Now your mileage may vary, you might want to add an additional heat spreader or not, that's completely up to you. I'll leave down the links below for some research that I did and for you to understand if it's worth adding a separate heat spreader that comes built in with a motherboard or let's say a fancy laptop or not. Now in my case, I've got the PNY installed in the top slot of my motherboard, which is under the CPU cooler basically and um, under the GPU so it's not best for in terms of thermal performances and it would be actually pretty unfair to compare it to my XPG NVMe drive in terms of thermal performance which is located at the bottom of the motherboard which is completely free and actually has got decent airflow down there so the reason I'm pointing this out is because when I took a picture of um, the my PC with uh, the CAT S62 Pro, uh, then you'll see over here that there's different um, uh, different thermals um, throughout my uh, my PC build or PC case. Now, with that aside, let's talk about performance. Now, here is where I was actually blown away by this PNY drive purely because of its read write speeds at around 3,400 in terms of read uh, megabytes per second and in terms of just under 3,100 in terms of uh, write speeds, it's far superior than my XBG drive, which achieves, achieves around 2,600 to 1,600 respectively. Now, of course, it depends in terms of your workload, in terms of what you're gonna be using it for. Those are like the baseline um, read write speeds of course you've got the full read write speeds there on the four different types of uh, benchmarks that it does but to me other than benchmarks and these ridiculous speeds that you get specifically over a regular ssd and regular hdd which again you can see the benchmarks um it, it's absolutely ridiculous so do these speeds actually matter well truthfully if you were to choose between one or the other drive it's not going to make much of a difference when it comes to using your pc gaming or loading up up something like that but when it comes to transferring large amounts of files those extra difference differences in speed can make a difference and for someone like myself who makes a lot of videos um, and you know copies across lots of files back and forth from different um, types of um, storage drives then it makes a massive difference and what I've noticed since um, having the, the this PMY drive and using it pretty much for as my primary drive when it comes to gaming and furthermore when it comes to video editing specifically for car related content and yes shout out to Totally EV that's my car centric website for uh, all electric and hybrid vehicles that'll be down in the description below and yes there's a YouTube channel if you want to check it out what I've noticed here is this PMY drive is just so seamless and fantastic to use. Now when you compare it in terms of its price and even from my own research of looking online at different benchmarks of different NVMe drives, this NVMe drive comes out pretty much on top if not one of the few top uh, performing NVMe drives you can find. Then you consider the fact that it comes in a two terabyte variant, which is actually relatively rare for an NVMe drive. So for example, my XPG um, drive doesn't come at the time of doing this video in a two terabyte variant or above one terabyte. It therefore gives it a little bit more of a unique position in the market. So here it's competing with, let's say the Samsung or Western Digital um, drives, which do come in that sort of size. Here, then it's worth bearing in mind that these drives, its competitors, are actually a lot more expensive. So the higher storage space you go, the difference in price becomes even greater and the PNY drive becomes even more of a better bargain because not only has got extremely great performance, but it's also cheaper than its competitors. What I'm trying to say here in a nutshell is that this 
PNY um, XLR8 drive is absolutely insane and one you should definitely consider if not go out and buy if you're looking for an NVMe. So in other words, if you're looking to really spruce up your, your performance of your PC. Now that's my honest and unbiased take on this um, NVMe drive. Let me know in the comments below what you make of it. If you own it or you in indeed have other drives, I'm very much intrigued to hear your thoughts. And if you're still old school and own an HDD or a SD SSD drive like I do, then again, shout out to you guys and yeah, definitely let me know in the comments below. Alright guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this review. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe and favorite and all that good stuff. It continues and helps me continue to do these honest reviews and it's very much appreciated. Alright guys, totally dubbed out. Bye bye.